And now for the Monero development segment. Hey, what's up, guys? Comrade, what's going on? Well, uh, as I already told you before the before the stream started, I kind of stretched my eyes out during my sleep. So, Jesus, that was nice waking up today. We, we, we got to get you Monero mittens or put Monero socks on. Yeah, your yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. All right. Well, well. Uh, hopefully, you could you can perform today. It's, um, there, there, there's some big news, right? We've we've had some big news this week. Yeah, there's big news, and uh, those are involving uh, a need of knowledge in C, which I really don't have. So, I'll I'll just say the news, and I'll include uh credits for the links yeah so, you don't have to get super detailed in terms of uh how things function on, on the mo on the most basic level uh just kind of give us give us an overview and understanding more so for the noobs right like what the impact is of these changes particularly with sure. the random thing. sure so there's random x updates uh to v.2 we won't 1.2 sorry and uh on our gui uh, that that's code name is fluorine for me is 0 0.18.3.1. So, uh, yeah, th these are really the, the, um, the most complicated updates that I don't understand either. Ah. So the, 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 the GCC, uh, 13 compilation is basically, I, I think, uh, Monero had some bugs during the compilation for the C GCC compiler. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even know it had issues with GCC 13. Uh, for the uh, optimized random access protocol and the uh, JIT compiler, it got uh, updated from 64 bits to 32 bits. I don't know why they did that. Do do any of these changes have anything to do with trying to uh, you know further further improve the the ASIC resistance aspects of, of random X? I assume they do, right? Um, I don't think so. I, I think that that really uh, improved with with some of the uh, service updates and. I, I know, so basically, you know, there was the end miner uh, that was featuring ARM uh, CPU. Mm -hmm. And the way I don't think that uh, this has anything anything to do with ASIC resistance is because the JIT compiler for RISC W, or I am RISC V is, RISC V is an ARM architecture. So they're basically kind of helping ARM CPUs to, to function better. Right. I, I, it's probably for Max and other stuff, but that helps uh, the N minor X five too. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Um, uh, maybe. And, and, and for example, Raspberry Pi too. So. Okay. Yeah. If any, if anybody has deeper technical knowledge on what the implications of these things are, uh, it's they, mostly just architectural changes and fixes for. Compilation yeah. of random X. So, like, if you're building it from source, it's just fix very fixed yeah, for that mainly. Mostly. Okay, so no, so no real impact on how how it functions and uh, uh, no, no impact on the uh, on the a AC protection whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. We'll get um, to see development nonetheless. Uh, we'd we'd love to get Tevador back on the show at some point. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we need to reach private. him somehow. He does the most complicated updates. Well, I mean, the repo is his, kind of, so... <laughs> okay, so Florian for me updates for GUI. The daemon uh, improved the, the ring CT cache. I basically added it, so the last uh, 8,192 uh, 8, uh, ring CT signatures are are cached, so that speeds up uh, block propagations. Uh, here's a bit of a feature here. So this is without the ring city, and this is the with the ring city uh, updates. 
So it's basically oh wow a, yeah, and, and here's the block tests. So these are really really high. So oh. this, just to be clear, this is for the for the new this is for the GUI right for the uh, yeah for the GUI daemon. Okay, so, so the so background process of it. It's effectively running faster. Yes. Very cool. Uh, they have refactored the Rx slow hash uh, function, the code, and uh, added the, the Monero random X full uh, environment uh, variable or value to uh, make the uh, GUI forcefully use the uh, full Monero data set for the POV verification, POW verification that produces the uh, block uh, verifying, uh, of course, faster. Okay. Uh, if I say uh, V sometimes is 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 because the in Hungarian the W is it just basically V we, we pronounce it like that too so oh yeah, yeah. In Polish too yep. yeah uh, there was problems with the peer discovery ping back so some peers didn't really ping back on their own so they fixed that and. Uh, I don't know what Dandelion is, so of course, again, we need Tavador for that. Does anyone know or yeah, can can anyone uh, reach him? Uh, we'll try to get him on. I mean, Dandelion Plus Plus is 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 basically what's uh, Tux. You could probably better explain this than me, but is is what's used to uh, on a on a network level. Um, Disguise uh, where Monero transactions are propagating from. Yeah, yeah. It tries to to hide like uh, the IP address and stuff like that. It tries to obscure network level stuff. Thank you. So, so I, I don't know what the what that had to do with the GUI, but yeah, uh, it, it, yeah. It's it's the daemon of the GUI. So there, there's the GUI wallet. The, there's the daemon that that's running in the background. For example, fetching uh, node stuff. Uh, that that you don't see by eyes. All right, so and, the uh, and, uh, and of course there's there's the wallet, yeah. Okay. Uh, there's uh, some DNS re resolution uh, bugs that was fixed in this update, so some hosts uh, probably didn't resolve well, and they they fixed that. Oh, Honda Hudson, hello. Uh, and uh, they, of course, did, did a cleanup for the whole update. And uh, they added new seed nodes, which, which I will uh, get here quick. One second. Oh, I have the link in there. Uh... Hunter has saying, I think the RandomX update was the first step to improve verification time and proof of work process. Probably. One second, and I will show you the new uh, seed nodes. So here they are. Thanks to Pause of. What is this now? So these are the new confirmed uh, IPv4 uh, of the online nodes, and these are the uh, ITP and the, the Tor nodes, of course. So these are the basic seed nodes, I think. That's uh, the uh, that your own Monero node uh, c connects from the beginning to get the uh, block updates and for the fetching. So like the uh, the air quote root nodes, I guess you could say. Yes, 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 yes. So those were updated. Yes. Why, why is I, that? I, I mean, they, they are confirmed to be online. Okay. Okay, and uh, there was a problem with uh, Trezor connectivity, connectivity issues on Windows 11 uh, 23 point, no, 23 H2, so they fixed those. Uh, and the Monero blockchain stats uh, omitted data from the final they uh, some way. Uh, of course, they updated to open SSL uh, 1.1.1T. So that's some security updates right there. 
So we were on OpenXL, I think, 1.0, and they added it to 1.1.T. The minor bug fixes, which they don't mention, and I couldn't really get info on. And here comes some happy announcement. So here are the current pro project that, that we can look out for. Uh, of course, you sp you've spoken with Luke. Uh, he will come on the show sometime. He doesn't actually know when because he works delivery and uh, he works like 70 hours a week. He needs to find an IT job, but he can't. So anyone who has some l looking into jobs or is an HR, please let him or me know so I can tell him he's based in Virginia. And as uh, as we talked about it, the last Wait, episode, what were the other projects you had on there? Go back. Sorry, what? Go back to sorry. oh Monero, so, uh, Monero payment request standard. Yeah, they uh, so he updated the the way that subscription wallet works, and uh, it has the so you, you know there there was a code which you had to paste in to make donations frequently. And he updated that uh, protocol. Awesome. And uh, as as I told you about it next week, we hit three million uh, block height. So I don't know who did the clap soundboard, but can we get that again? Yeah. <laughs> Three million, all right. Yeah. The sad thing is that we really are uh, going down in hash rate. So before last week, it was like 3.3. .3, then last week, it's 3.16 and now 2.71. I, I think it's because they are at the end minor uh, is tuning lower on their testing for the X5, maybe in the future. It well, I think increase. that's just general trend, like weekly trend. It kind of goes yeah, up. Maybe, down maybe. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's hard to, on a weekly basis, it's hard to really gauge. But, but with the transactions, we are going up and up. So last week on the 13th, it, uh, it was like 23,000. And now the, now the 20th, 20th, it's 24,500. So for a node amount, I couldn't get any more new info. The Monroe that fail uh, slash map website is is still saying this amount of nodes. So if anyone knows a more precise website to look for the node count, please let me know. Yeah, I don't know, Tux. What what do you you, you have any thoughts there? Where, where's the best best? How's the best way to kind of figure out how many uh, nodes are out there? I think. Monero dot fail right? Yeah, uh, it's it's displaying this same amount for over two weeks now. Oh really? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Maybe not. That's weird. I think it's really hard to. Yeah. I so they, how how they do it is they have a node with like unlimited uh, peers uh, set, so they are using a recursive algorithm to count the nodes. I mean the peers connected to oh, their that makes sense. Not a mm. great way, but it's a way. Yeah. I guess there's really no good way. Yeah. All right. uh, after all, this is Monero, so we don't want it to be so public. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, comrade, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. And we will we'll keep moving. Let's uh let's get let's get the viewers on stage up here and then we'll yeah. keep, we got a bunch of new stories to go over. Yes, thank you, Conrad. Oh, yeah, and uh, programming guy said, oh, wow, ARM64 and RISC-5 support. This is pretty cool because there was not building support for ARM and RISC-5 for um, Random X before, and Antminer, actually, like, they ported Random X to RISC-5 because there was no official support for compiling it. So I guess that's that's partially why they went out of their way and had support for it.